Hello guys, and welcome along to my everyday carry pocket dump. Uh, something I've been asked for on several occasions, so I thought, let's do it. Uh, you can see all the, there's a mixture of stuff that I have uh, access to, uh, whatever I want to carry on a daily basis. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll start with uh, the mobile phone. Like most people, I carry a mobile phone, and in this case it's a, an Huawei P9 Lite. I like this phone because it's um, a decent size, it's quality made, um, it has a very good camera on the back of it and you'll see uh, lots of videos and um, photos on my um, YouTube channel that I've taken with this particular camera. It is fingerprint recognition and I also have this uh, Basius clear rubber protect around it because I've dropped it once and I don't wish to damage any more than I have. I just damaged a little bit of um, the aluminium frame on it. I use one of these little fellows. It's a little um, Molly compatible pouch I carry it around in. <clears throat> and it goes in there quite nicely. As you can see it's like a nice sort of like a soft protection here. And it simply goes in and is held in quite nicely with the velcro there and it also even even like this it fits in my uh, shirt pocket which is quite good i have a another style on the way from gearbest uh, this one i think i've got from fastec actually but i've got a uh, an fde um, version of this on the way from gearbest as we speak as you see as i say it's molly compatible it protects the phone quite nicely and uh, yeah i like it the next thing that most people carry around with them on a regular basis are keys. These are the keys that I mostly carry around and we'll start with my house keys. As you can see I have a uh, paracord lanyard on here with a key ring to uh, clip onto a little um, clip that I keep on my belt which I shall show you in a little while. Uh, we have another little clip here, dog, dog uh, lead style clip here which I can use it to clip onto things. I have a little, um, well I have the two keys to the house. Uh, I have a San Renmu, what's this, this is a GJ040Z, little um, key ring tool here, little screwdriver, bottle opener, etc. And I have a little um, leather fob on here that I, uh, if I remember rightly, made uh, in college back in the very late 70s. Uh, moving along to my uh, car keys, you can see this fob here, which I picked up at... Glastonbury some years ago. Uh, there's my Honda Civic keys there. Uh, I have a, a Night Eyes, uh, what's this, an s beaner Night Eyes s beaner on there to hang it on things and hang things off of it as well. And I also carry this uh, um, Night Core tube with it as well, which is handy for like, uh, you know, finding your way around your car in the dark amongst other things. Very useful little uh, flashlight, as you can see it doesn't take up much space at all. Next up we have uh, carrying money and cards and things. Uh, let's start with this little fellow here. I've been carrying this one for some years now, quite a few years actually. It's a little leather, uh, you can put credit cards in here and you can carry cash in here. Now, um, what do I carry in mine? Well, there's this little uh, Tesco club card thing, you know, so just in case you haven't got your standard card, you've always got this one with you when you go and make a purchase to get, get points on. Um, as you know, probably if you've seen some of my, one of my other reviews, you'll know that Mrs. Rathbone doesn't allow me to carry money about, which is, uh, you know, understandable since I like to spend it quite so much, but she does allow me to carry chocolate money around in this thing, so that's okay then. I don't mind chocolate money because I can eat that. Right, let's just move on to my wallet. This particular wallet is a flip side and was very kindly sent to me by channel supporter Trader Joe. Thank you very much, Joe. I use this on a very regular basis. In fact, I've had it out with me today. You've got a little um, strap on the back there to put things like. Um, you know, like till receipts in there, or whatever you like in there. It comes off, but I leave it on there because it looks cool. We open it up like so by pressing this button. I like that. Check that out. <clears throat> so you've got your important uh, 
cards here they you can get quite a few in here and if you look here you've actually got um, some aluminium sheets and one in this side as well that protect your card your aphid your cards aphids from being read by a badman shall we say so I've got a card there uh, you can carry a few cards in here look as you can see I've got two in there at the moment and if you open this out you've got space to put ID here um, I have actually got some cash here but I can't spend this so Mrs Rathbone lets me have it it's American dollars so I've got that in there that fits under this little tab as you can see if I can get it back under there like so and I also carry around because my eyesight's not that good anymore also carry around this little uh, magnifying sheet thing here as you can see that's quite handy to have around with you right in so <coughs> What else do we, uh, we carry around with us on a daily basis? Well, clothing springs to mind. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I like to have a decent belt on my trousers. I've been using this one for, what, five, ten years, something like that. Quite a while I've had this one. Uh, I picked it up. It's a Fly by Fly, which I believe is F-L-Y-Y-E. You can see the little label there. Um, it is a good, strong nylon. Uh, with a good good bucket a uh, bucket a good buckle on this end here uh, that works quite simply like this you feed it through here and back again through itself like so and it is um, quite strong as I say I have been carrying this for quite some time now and it is still going size wise we're looking at an inch and three quarters or 45 millimeters I use this little Molly compatible, um, I believe it's a H&K style clip here to hang the keys on. They do a pretty good job, pretty good strong job. It's only cost me a, a pound or so from Gearbest, this little fella did. And it's still going, look. It's quite quite handy really, just to have it on your belt, like so. Uh, pretty, pretty handy for hanging your keys on. Also on my belt I carry a little multi-tool and I carry it in this nice little leather pouch as you can see here it's non molly compatible but it fits on the uh, belt quite nicely so what multi-tool do I carry in here on a regular basis it's this little Gerber Bear Grylls mini multi-tool which is a quite a nice little thing actually it's just about the right size as you can see it's not too large um, we actually have if I can open it there we go <coughs> we have a pair of pliers on there with a very small wire cutter in there too um, snaps shut quite nicely we have a UK legal blade because it's non-locking and it's very short as you can see very handy to have one of those around with you one of several blades I carry by the way on the other side we have a serrated edge blade and we also have a multitude of um, screwdrivers, bottle openers that's a little Phillips screwdriver there. Um, <clears throat> what else we got? A little small screwdriver there. Even smaller screw. Oh no, it's not a screwdriver. That's actually sorry guys. That's actually a pair of tweezers. Look. So it's not a screwdriver at all. It's a pair of tweezers there. So that's quite a nice, handy little multi-tool to be carrying around with you. And I've popped this little bit of a uh, paracord on here to make it easy to grasp when you want to withdraw it from the sheath, which is quite handy. Uh, let's move along to what I carry in my pockets. Well, a few tissues are quite handy, guys. I also carry a small tin of um, Vaseline for my lips because they get dry, saves them cracking out at this time of year. And you can also use it for uh, if you've got like badly cracked fingers and that, you can rub a little Vaseline into a badly cracked finger, and uh, within a few days it should uh, allevi alleviate the problem for you. Whilst we're talking about pockets, I have a uh, an extensive collection of UK friendly carry knives. Um, we have um, HX Outdoors here. We also have a CRKT Journeyer just here. I've got reviews of both of these. Well, I've actually got reviews of most of these on my channel, except for this little fella here, this little San Renmu, which only just came in the other day. That's quite a nice little thing. I should be uh, putting that into my uh, EDC rotation. But currently, I am carrying. This little San Renmu 7105 here. Check the blade on that, guys. Really nice. Quite a nice size little knife to carry. 
uh, it has a single screwdriver on the back here which is quite useful and a little uh, lanyard, lanyard hole if you wanted to uh, put a lanyard through it as well and so this is my current um, daily carry uh, and you can see a review of this like you can most of the things you've, you'll see on this review uh, I have reviews if you want to search my channel you'll find most of this stuff down there but I'm going to be reviewing this at some time in the very near future this is a very nice San Renmu again I've just had it the other day there's a nice blade on there very nice looking blade and a couple of um, a screwdriver belt cutter screwdriver belt uh, uh, bottle opener which is exactly the same as you see on this one here and a glass breaker it's a very nice little bit of kit is that I like this very nice indeed okay moving on I have a number of flashlights that I carry on a daily basis uh, this just being three of them if I want some serious flashlight carry I will take out this um, Eagle Eye X5R very nice little flashlight runs an 18650 I believe it's uh, operated by a tail switch and this little button here you can see the different brightness levels um, and we have access to a strobe as well guys <clears throat> I also carry a couple of little Hugsby flashlights these are good this is the little uh, Hugsby XP1 tail switch single setting that's all uh, handy little uh, pocket clip um, as you can see it is, it's quite small very small little thing runs a single triple A battery we have the uh, Hugsby XP2 as you can say see it's the same design as the XP1 just a bit longer uh, as it runs two triple A batteries again tail switch but only the one setting there's no strobing to these fellas there's only just the one brightness setting uh, this one's a little bit brighter than the XP1 it runs the same they both run the same head but um, the XP2 has uh, two AA batteries behind it uh, this is quite a handy little thing to have it's, it's a bit longer and the other reason I carry it it just in case you might need to persuade somebody to leave you alone I think it's uh, quite handy for that just don't tell safety Sally I think everyone should carry their own pen um, I, I have carried this one for many years since my uh, late parents-in-law gave it to me one Christmas I've carried it in my wallet ever since really um, a little Parker stainless steel retractable bore point it's quite strong as you can see again we have the uh, you know persuasion element there with it um, I've only recently uh, in the last year I think it is sometime in the last year I've swapped it out to, for this very nice little Fura I quite like this little thing uh, the colors on it are nice you've got a little key ring here it's not too big um, it's got a glass breaker on the front here again I have a review of this on my channel if you want to search the channel you'll find it it's got a glass breaker there you simply unscrew it turn it round screw it back up again and you've got a very usable pen actually to be honest with you very nice uh, and it's really solidly made too from stainless steel it's quite heavy quite hefty very strong indeed now uh, I'm currently waiting for a couple of other uh, tactical pens to come in to review uh, with the potential of carrying them on a regular basis one is the um, LAIXB007 here's a picture of it uh, the other one being an IPRE that's I-P-R-E-E -E, tactical pen that I've just last night purchased from Banggood so I'm really looking, for, looking forward to both of those coming in uh, and you can expect to see reviews of those as soon as they come in guys alright what's next my little EDC kit that's what's next uh, and it is actually a little Maxpedition Micro uh, 
EDC pouch, I believe is what it's called. You've got this handy little pocket in the front. As you can see, I carry my little uh, Fura tactical pen in there. And I also carry these little, um, my little EDC glasses. Again, I've got a review of these on the channel. Handy little things to have because I cannot be bothered to carry a proper sized pair of glasses around with me. They're an absolute pain in the bottom carrying a, a great big um, glasses case with me. When you think I can carry this little thing, look, much better. Alrighty then, so what do I carry in here? Let's have a look. Open her up. Um, we'll start here with this little um, knife here. And yet another little blade I carry. It is my little Victorinox SD Classic. As you can see, I've got it on a little knotted um, lanyard again. Uh, we have tweezers, quite handy. Toothpick. We have a um, little screwdriver and fingernail file for those wayward breaks on your nails. You know, it's driving up the bloody wall. Well, they do me anyway. We have just have a non threatening little uh, fine edge blade here. And round the other side, we have the scissors. Some very handy little scissors. Those, uh, you know, impromptu grooming uh, moments when you need to chop a little bit of. Um, nasal hair or uh, eyebrow off because it's driving you up the wall. As I suffer or at least have suffered quite badly with migraines or migraines, whichever way you like to say it, I like to carry a couple of these little fellows in my EDC kits. So I've always got access to some um, quite serious um, pain control here. These are aspirin, paracetamol and caffeine and I find them very effective for uh, my migraines, migraines, whichever way you like to say it. Um, the funny thing is though, uh, in the last two months or so, uh, it seems to have been switched off somehow and I haven't really suffered with a migraine, he said, touching wood, uh, that badly over the last two months, which I think is brilliant. I don't know how it happened, but it just has, bang. Just like that, more or less, overnight. It's fantastic not having migraines anymore. Uh, what do we carry at the top here? I'm sure you can see something in the top here. Let's have a look at that. Well, I carry a couple of different size um, safety pins, as you can see here. There's a small one there and a large one there. And they're very handy in case you have any sort of clothing disasters, such as like your flies break on your trousers or you lose a, um, um, a button off your shirt, say. You know, somewhere you want to look smart and your button's gone so you can uh, tidy it up with this. Uh, it's quite important with your flat trouser flies, I must admit, to be able to close them up again and I've had that happen while I was at work uh, a couple of years ago and you just uh, you know one of these things done job done I also carry some uh, paper clips as you can see because they're usually quite handy not only for uh, clipping paper together but also um, if you watch the movies especially for picking locks on the uh, handcuffs and stuff <laughs> yeah probably but um, you can also bend them and use them for uh, you know, like resetting electronic devices and what have you, you know, in the little small holes, or extracting, as in my new phone there, my uh, Huawei, you use it to extract the um, SIM card and the uh, memory card as well. Once again, I carry another flashlight about here. Uh, this is one of the first um, EDC flashlights I purchased, and it is a handy sized little ring cyber light. You've got a little bit of a stripe bezel on the front here. I don't really think it's big enough for that, to be honest with you. But um, here we have a tail clicky here. You've got momentary on and off, or you can click it on. But that's all it's got. There's no strobe or other settings. But it's quite bright to see what you're doing with. It's quite a handy little thing. It runs a single AA battery. And I've had it for quite some time, and it works really well. Especially, you know, if you find yourself coming home in the dark and it's the only flashlight you've got, out it comes. This particular pouch, like many others, has a couple of pockets, one there and one there. Um, what have I got in here then? As you can see, there's a little bag. And I've got a few little... Um, can we see that? Let's have a look. Okay, so I carry a few small tie wraps, uh, some very thin cord here, and also a length of duct tape as well, because that's quite useful. And I keep it all in this little bag to keep it together. I also like to keep a few elastic bands in there as well, because you never know when you might need an elastic band. And my Leatherman Piranha lives in there too. Quite a handy little tool. You've got like um, 
box cutter, pry bar, got a selection of um, spanners there and here as well. You've got a little double sided uh, screwdriver tool here which fits into this little hole here. Screwdrivers and pry bars here as well uh, and a bottle opener as well and I keep that in, uh, in my uh, EDC kit too. I've had that for quite a while. Okay so moving over to the other pocket I carry this uh, little Wacom bamboo very handy little device here. You've got a little um, special little rubber tip here for uh, operating your mobile phone or tablet which I find quite useful especially as I've got these big fat fingers look you can see which is going to operate it better can't you uh, and we also have a writing implement a pen this clips on the other end there like so so again I've got something else to write with and there we go it clips all together very nicely uh, I've actually got two of these uh, I've got this one here as well which is slightly shorter and that's just the uh, mobile phone tablet pen but I think they could both be used because they have got they are quite well made. I think they're like brass in here or whatever. I think they're brass in there anyway. And they've got metal tips on the end. So you can use both of them as impromptu uh, persuaders if necessary. Quite a nice little bits of kit they are. Okay, so what else do I have in this little pocket here? Well I've got this little um little USB data cable thing. Very small, very handy. Plug this end into a USB port and this end into your phone. Ideal for transferring data or giving it a charge if you need to. Um, what else have we got in here? Let's pull it all out and have a look. Because it's all uh, held together with bits of string and clips and what have you. Uh, I carry a little bit of uh, paper for making notes on. As you can see it's got lines and like a calendar effect on here. Um, I've got a Ganzo whistle. Should I need one? Um, I've got little um, EDC gear, uh, EDC tweezers. Quite handy to have. They're stainless steel and they just clip into there like that and you can hang them off a clip. Uh, the clip they're hanging off is I have two um, small Night Eyes S Beaners again, just for hanging kit on, such as this, uh, which is now going to need replacing because they've changed the pound coins, as you know, guys. So this is the older pound coin style and it's not going to fit any of the new shopping trolleys so that's going to have to go and get it replaced. I have um, my Lansky Roadie which I carry, ideal for sharpening knives, it's got a number of tools on it. There is a review of this on my channel if you wish to see it guys, just search it and find it. Roadie, Lansky Roadie. Uh, what else have we got? Oh yes, my little um, small USB memory drive here, standard uh, USB that end and the smaller USB this end to go into your phone or tablet. So there we go guys that is what I carry in my EDC pouch. So there we have it then guys just some of the kit or at least most of the kit that I carry around on a daily basis and I'm sure some of you guys out there do likewise too um, and you can let me know what you carry around if you wish in the comments down below I'd be quite interested to hear it I'm sure it's a, a you know a varied bunch of kit that you guys carry around probably not as much as I carry around but who knows you might carry a lot more than I do I'd be interested to find out guys uh, thank you very much for watching uh, don't forget you can subscribe to the channel you can click like especially if you enjoyed it and you can share it with your friends as well especially if they carry a load of stuff around with them uh, there's also my Instagram page uh, and you can support the channel via Patreon too if you wish. There's also my special Gearbest link which uh, you'll find in the descriptive text below. Click on that link, go along to Gearbest, buy whatever you like and I'll get a small commission which I plough straight back into my channel guys. Thank you very much indeed to everyone who has purchased via that link. Alright then guys, thanks for popping over today, hope you enjoyed the review, please let me know down below, uh, and I will catch you another time then. Laters! Rough!